we are going to find the Taylor series for the function e to the 2x at the center a is equal to 3. And this is how we are going to do it. Set up table first. And then we start with n values going from 0 to 4. And hopefully, this is enough. And then we have to work out the nth derivative of the function. At the end, we have to work out the Taylor formula. Be sure you plug in 3 right here because a is equal to 3. So in this case, when we have n is equal to 0, for the zeroth derivative, it is just the original function. So we have e to the 2x. And now we just have to differentiate that four times. Hopefully, you see a pattern. The first derivative e to the 2x, it will be just e to the 2x, but then we have to multiply by 2, right, because of the chain rule. And then the next one, same thing pretty much. We do e to the 2x, but then this is going to be 2 times another 2. So we have 4. And let me write that as 2 to the second power. Next one, we will have e to the 2x multiplied by another 2 right here. So we have 2 to the third power. Pretty much is n 8, right? But let me write it down like that. Next one, e to the 2x, you know the deal. It will be 2 to the fourth power. And you'll see the nice pattern right away, right? The very first one is 2 to 0, if you would like, as well. All right, now let's work out the Taylor formula. This is how we do it. Plugging 3 into the x and then divided by the m factorial into, according to the m values. For the first one, we will get plugging 3 in here, it's pretty much just e to the 6, and then we divide it by 0 factorial, which is just e to the 6, pretty much, right? And then for the next one, I'm going to plug in 3 into here, and let me write this down as 2 e to the 6, and then divide it by 1 factorial, like this. I'm not going to simplify anything at the moment. I'm just going to keep writing this down. Next one, I'm going to plug in 3 into here. We will have 2 to the second power times e to the sixth power, and then we'll divide it by this 2 factorial, the n factorial, right? And we are not going to simplify anything. Next one, I'm going to plug in 3 into here. We have 2 to the third power, and then e to the sixth and then divided by 3 factorial. And now you see the reason why we are not going to simplify anything, right? Because the things in red, it has a nice pattern. Likewise, the factorial in the bottom, it also has a nice pattern. The very last one, we will have 2 to the fourth power, e to the sixth, over 4 factorial. All right, so now this is how we are going to finish it. And by the way, if you would like to make everything fit the pattern, the very first one, you can put this down as 2 to the 0th power multiplied by that. Because 2 to the 0 is 1 anyways. And in fact, I'm not going to look at this at all. So let me put this down. We have e to the 2x. And then we know now the Taylor series expansion center d at a is equal to 3. It's the following. Let's put on the constant term first. And this is pretty much e to the 6, so I will just still put down e to the 6. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. <laughs> Next one, I'm going to add 2 e to the 6 over 1 factorial. And then this is the coefficient of the linear term. And we have to multiply by x minus 3 to the first power. And then for the next one, we have this. So we add it with 2 to the second power, e to the 6 over 2 factorial. And then we multiply by x minus 3 to the second power. And then we keep on going. The next one is this. So I'm going to put it down here, plus 2 to the third power, e to the 6 over 3 factorial times x minus 3 to the third power. And then that's the last one that we have on the board. 2 to the fourth power, e to the sixth power over Wolf factorial x minus 3 to the fourth power, and technically this keeps on going forever. And now we can also write this down in a more compact form. All this is the same as we started with n is equal to 0, right? And this is n is equal to 1, and this is n is equal to 2, and this technically keeps on going forever. Put this down in the sigma notation n goes from 0 to infinity. Everybody here has 2 to the some power. Likewise, for the first one, it's 2 to the 0 power, if you like. So let me put this down as 
2 to the nth power, depending on which term you're talking about. This right here, n is equal to 3, you have 2 to the third power. And then everybody has exactly e to the 6, that's the constant. And then we divide it by n factorials, okay? So that's pretty much the coefficient. And then at the end, we multiply by x minus 3 to the nth power. And this is the sigma notation form for this series. At the very end, we have to say the radius of convergence. And let me just tell you guys here, r is equal to infinity. It converges everywhere. And the way to do it is you can use the ratio test with this form right here. Anyways, uh, at the moment, that's it.